Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Kobe from Sanitarium Productions. We're back again with another G.I. Joe action figure review. Today we are looking at Undertow from the 2015 box set from the convention exclusive. Uh, this was this, the Tiger Force set with the Iron Grenadiers. And this is the uh, Iron Grenadiers Frogman. Undertow. Uh, this one did not come in a poly bag, uh, but we do have the weapons sealed in their little container here, which is cool. I have not yet picked up the entire box set for this one. Um, not as many of them really appealed to me as I had originally expected, so I've been just picking them up when I can. So, Anyways, here is the file card that comes with it. Pretty cool. I do like the Iron Grenadiers, but for whatever reason, I just haven't picked up all of them yet. So, anyways, I got this one for a really good deal, uh, so figured I would just do a quick review for y'all. So, that's what we're doing. Uh, unlike some of the other accessory packs we've seen with the convention exclusives, uh, this one is actually packaged a little differently. It's got a nice seal on it instead of a tape, which just means it's... A little bit more to cut. <laughs> Let's dump it out here. He's got a lot of stuff with him. Oh, that little oxygen tank's running off from us. Get back over here. So yeah, lots of cool accessories here. We'll dive into each one of them and then take a look at the figure itself. All right, let's start with the uh, actual figure stand itself. The traditional 25th anniversary and up Cobra stand. The nice raised Cobra logo on the top. And the code name here on the side, Undertow. Cool. Standard issue, but there we go. Uh, where do we start with all these accessories? Let's start with this cool uh, underwater thingy. So this is the little underwater sled, and it's a pretty awesome looking little vehicle here. Got some nice detail work on it. Hand holds, you've got a little uh, foot peg there if you need it. And you can attach some accessories to it as well. Flipping it over to the bottom side, a few more details pop out. And you've got this cool little uh, barbell hook for this awesome missile over here. A uh, really cool looking gold missile with not a whole lot of details going on on it. But it's got a weird kind of gold flecking going on in the molding, which is, uh, I don't know if it'll show up or not on here, but uh, makes it look kind of sparkly, which would be cool underwater, I guess. But uh, anyways, we've got a peg hole right there. You just line the peg hole up with the peg. And boom, it attaches like so. Pretty straightforward. Still cool though. We've got the awesome looking face mask here. I don't know if we can get a good close up on that or not, but uh, if you'll notice here on the side, it's got one of the eyes that is uh, got this golden thing and the other one is kind of uh, sealed off. Makes him kind of look like Deathstroke, but uh, still kind of cool. Nice little touch there. Uh, we have this cool trident, which um, I actually thought might have been like a spearhead or something uh, that went into like one of the uh, a missile launcher or something, but it looks like it's just a spear. Pretty cool looking, nice little trident, gold color on it as well. We have the traditional Cobra Frogman gun here. Um, harpoon gun, I guess is what I would say. And a nice gold color here. Some nice detail work going on here. Pretty much the same as the rest of the Cobra Frogman carry. So, considering that uh, Destro supplies all of Cobra with their ammunition and arms, shouldn't be any surprise that uh, Destro's Frogman would also have the same kind of weapon, so pretty cool. 
We'll move on to the backpack here. Uh, this is basically the same backpack as uh, Torpedo uses. And you'll notice that it's missing one of the air tanks. That's because they're removable. You can just pop them in place and pop those air tanks out if you want to. Though, um, don't really know why you would do that, but whatever reason you may want to do that. But still some nice detail work here. And it is cool that they painted these things a different color, that nice gold color. And they are removable if you uh, have need to remove them. So, uh, Next up, we've got the flippers. And as you can see, I've got two different ones here, but uh, that's because one of them came apart. No worries there. There are just two little peg holes here and pegs on the side. You just line them up and uh, it just pops back into place. May have to squeeze on it to get it to fit back in there, but uh, no worries there. It's kind of supposed to do that. Uh, it is a little weird that these things are articulated. You can fold them up, and I guess that's to uh, enable walking on dry land, which makes sense and is kind of a cool feature. The only thing I will point out that's a little bit weird about these is that the um, some of the other releases we've seen actually have another hole in the bottom of them so they can wear the uh, fins when they're on the figure stand itself but uh, in this case we're not going to be able to do that so that's kind of a bummer but uh, not a big deal still some nice detail work going on on these things and they do look really cool and I do like the fact that they are articulated there so they swing up and down Let's move on and look at the figure itself. Uh, pretty standard issue. It's kind of basically the, just a repaint of the traditional Frogman Cobra Eel figure. Uh, so no big surprises here. Um, looks like they've uh, went a little harsh on one color of the pouch here. It's a little bit darker red than the other ones. Um, but at the same time, they kind of did the same thing on the other knee pad which is a little odd to me, but uh, not that big a deal. But still, we've got the Iron Grenadier logo there on his chest. Very nice. Some nice gold accents going on on top. Some cool little buckle straps there on his uh, back. Some really nice detail work on his elbow pads as well. Something that you may not pay much attention to, but uh, I know I haven't really seen that much in the past, so... It's a nice little touch. I don't know if I can get the camera to pick up on those details or not, but uh, it's kind of cool though. Other than that, pretty straight, regular looking helmet, uh, face mask. His eyes look a little weird on this one, but that's uh, eh, okay. Articulation wise, the head does spin 360 degrees and has full up and down rotation and movement. Standard ball and swivel at the shoulder joint. Standard ball and swivel at the elbow joint. And it looks like we've got uh, swivel and ball at the wrist. So bonus articulation there, which is always nice. Standard articulation at the waist or the uh, rib cage, and actually quite a bit of range for the ab rock motion. Standard T hook at the waist, no limit on articulation whatsoever there. Double knee joint, and the tradition, well, the uh, weird rocker joint at the uh, ankle, actually. So you've got forward it up and down, and then it does that weird slidey thing to the side the kind of ball joint thing so still pretty cool it's actually a, a, a bonus articulation point I guess you could say it's uh, something I'm not used to seeing but it's kind of cool some extra detail work on his uh, boot tread very nice looking so let's gear this guy up here. We'll start with the backpack. Slides in very easily. 
got the cool face mask that fits on and makes him look like a, a little stingray devil dude. <laughs> cool. Put his trident in his hand, his spear gun in his other hand, and then you can uh, stick his flippers on his feet. And he is all geared up and ready to wage war under the sea. Uh, the only bad thing here is that there's no real good way to uh, mount his cool little uh, sea ray do thing here. Um, so he'll have to carry that, I guess. It would be nice if they had an extra little peg or something built so that you could uh, pop it in place here on the back. Um, but not that big of a deal. So yeah, all in all, this figure turned out a lot better than I was expecting. Uh, I'm actually pretty impressed with it. I, I do really like the little spear thing here, and uh, the face mask is pretty awesome as well. So yeah, if you're looking for a new underwater trooper, this is definitely one to keep your eye on and to pick up. I don't think you'll be disappointed at all with this one. So, And luckily enough, it's... Uh, the troop builder version of this in the convention set so there was quite a few of them out there shouldn't be too difficult to pick one up on the secondary market and should be a fairly decent price uh, uh, low price I guess you could say they're not real high in demand or anything right now so yeah pick this thing up it's pretty awesome looking That's all the time we've got today, so thanks for watching. Be on the lookout for new videos coming down the pipe. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Drop us some comments down below to let us know what you think of... Undertow. Sorry, I forgot his name for a second. <laughs> let us know what you think of Undertow. It's a pretty cool figure. Till next time, yo Joe.